Welcome to Avatar Technology Digest. Here's a big hello to our social media friends. We want you to know that we appreciate your likes, comments and shares so much. And here are the top stories of the last week. Not all organs age alike. Aging is the gradual decline of the whole body, but new research shows that age affects organs in different ways and provides the first comprehensive view of how cellular proteins age in different organs, revealing major differences between liver and brain in young and old rats. Past studies have shown that the activity level of genes also changes with age, with most genes showing similar changes in expression across organs. American scientists took an integrated omics approach instead of focusing on one isolated aspect of gene expression as in past studies. This recent large-scale study showed that the vast majority of proteins across different organs don't change in abundance during aging. This research may shed new light on the molecular mechanisms underlying age-related diseases, enabling the identification of risk factors to predict which individuals are most susceptible based on their genetic makeup. Meet the man who wants to big back aging. A scientist near Barzilla hopes to persuade Food and Drug Administration to bless the proposed unprecedented clinical trial, nothing less than the first test of a drug to specifically target the process of human aging. The group of academics from Einstein College wanted to conduct a double-blind study of around 3,000 elderly people. Half would get a placebo and half would get an old drug for type 2 diabetes called metformin, which can be shown to modify aging in some animal studies. Because there is still no accepted biomarker for aging, the drug's success would be judged by an unusual standard, whether it could delay the development of several diseases whose incidence increases dramatically with age. None of the current studies proves that metformin will delay the onset of age-associated diseases, and scientists haven't identified an exact mechanism by which the drug might work. But it appears to act on some of the same molecular pathways identified by basic aging research. Now, trial advocates need someone willing to foot the cost of $50 million, plus or minus $20 million for tracking some 3,000 people between the ages of 65 and 79 for a minimum of five years. Nanoparticles disguised as human platelets could greatly enhance the healing power of drug treatments for cardiovascular disease and systemic bacterial infections. American scientists at the University of California developed a platelet mimicking nanoparticles that are capable of delivering drugs to targeted sites in the body, particularly injured blood vessels as well as organs infected by harmful bacteria. Engineers demonstrated that by delivering the drugs just to the areas where the drugs were needed, these platelets copycats greatly increased the therapeutic effects of drugs that were administered to diseased rats and mice. On the outside, platelets mimicking nanoparticles are cloaked with human platelet membranes, which enable the nanoparticles to circulate throughout the bloodstream without being attacked by the immune system. The platelet's membrane coating binds to damaged blood vessels and certain pathogens, allowing the nanoparticles to deliver and release their drug payloads specifically to these sites in the body. Enclosed within the platelet's membranes are nanoparticle cores made of a biodegradable polymer that can be safely metabolized by the body. Researchers hope to develop platelet mimicking nanoparticles into new treatments for systemic bacterial infections and cardiovascular disease. Researchers at the Salk Institute managed to control brain cells with sound waves. An ultrasound pulls a neuron in a roundworm's brain, causing the worm to turn around. The new technique, which uses the same type of waves used in medical sonograms, may have advantages over the light-based approach known as optogenetics, particularly when it comes to adapting the technology to human therapeutics. In contrast to light-based techniques, low-frequency ultrasound can travel through the body without any scattering. Researchers found a membrane ion channel, TRP4, which can respond to these waves. When mechanical deformations from the ultrasound heat and gas bubbles propagate into the worm, they cause TRP4 channels to open up and activate the cell. With this approach, they successfully activated neurons that don't usually react to ultrasound. TRP4 could be added to any calcium-sensitive cell type in any organism, including humans. A future technology forum hosted by the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency last week reported on the first patient outfitted with a prosthetic hand coupled with an implanted brain stimulator that allows him to actually feel what he's touching. Prosthetic limbs can be controlled by thoughts are showing great promise, but without feedback from signals traveling back to the brain, it can be difficult to achieve the level of control needed to perform precise movements. 
by wiring a sense of touch from a mechanical hand directly into the brain, this work shows the potential for seamless biotechnological restoration of near natural function. The patient was blindfolded and researchers gently touched the fingers of the prosthetic hand one at a time. He was able to report with nearly 100% accuracy which finger was being touched, describing the feeling like being touched on a real hand. And that is all for Avatar Technology Digest. Once again, you are always welcome to subscribe, follow us on social media, consume our news the same way you do ice cream, and feel free okay, to call me an android. See you soon.